So in this problem, we have a block of mass 5 kilos falls from rest from a shelf 10 metres above the ground. Assuming that air resistance is negligible, use conservation of energy to find the speed with which the block hits the ground. OK, so let's draw a diagram. OK, it's just so we can see what's going on. So here's our block with a mass of 5 kilos. OK, and it falls from rest from a shelf 10 metres above the ground. Right, so here is the ground. And that distance is 10 metres. OK, so we're going to have a weight working vertically downwards of 5G. And it's going to be accelerating downwards. OK. Um, assuming that air resistance is negligible, so there are no other forces acting vertically, use conservation of energy to find the speed with which the block hits the ground. OK. So if you are going to do this... Um, just with A-level maths, uh, and that's all the knowledge that you have, then you could do this using SUVAT. So uh, you would put S as 10, U as 0, because it's starting from rest. V uh, is what we want to find out. And the acceleration will be G, OK, because it's going to be accelerating just due to gravity. And then you could work out V. So you could use SUVAT on this. So what I want to show you is that you can use the work energy principle for this as well. Or in this case, just the conservation of energy. So the initial GPE plus the initial kinetic energy plus or minus any work done is equal to the final GPE plus the final kinetic energy. Now, the initial gravitational potential energy MGH will be M times G times H, which is 10. Now, the initial kinetic energy will be 0 because the initial speed is 0 because we're starting from rest. So half MV squared where V is 0. Now, as for work done, there are no other forces acting vertically apart from the weight. OK, so we're ignoring air resistance, so there are no other forces, and so this will be just plus zero. Now, the final gravitational potential energy, when it hits the ground, H will be zero. So you'll have M times G times zero. And the final kinetic energy will be one half times M times V squared. OK, so... What we've got is uh, 50g equaling 5 halves v squared. Now, of course, we can divide through by 5 to make this easier for ourselves. So we've got 10g is equal to 1 half v squared. So 20g is equal to v squared. So v will be the square root of 20g. Of course, if we put in g as 9.8, we get the square root of 20 times 9.8, which is equal to 14 metres per second. Okay.